multiple Andra Top Bike champion Jay Upton has made the transition from his traditional engine configuration to a new Honda powered combination. Not content with the existing national records achieved already by the White Knight and always in the active pursuit of destroying records and pursuing new frontiers, Upton wants to run consistently quicker still and believes the new Honda combination will deliver. We were looking to build a, a stronger engine that would be more reliable in the top end. The old four valve engines um, used to have a problem running through the top end. You would have seen us run a lot of very quick thousand foot passes. Our new Honda engines use a three valve design that eliminates that and it's working very well. But the problem is we have to go through the development curve of working out how to make it run, you know. I mean, the, the thing is so unique, there's nothing like it in the world, so there's nobody to ask. You just have to press on and hope you make it. Honda, to me, I mean, I've, I worked for Honda years and years ago, and, and to me, they've always been the kings of four-stroke engine technology. So Honda and Nitro definitely, I think, is the way to go. Now... I'm going to say this respectfully, you're probably the, uh, one of the godfathers of uh, top fuel motorcycle in Australia. You must be excited with the growth of the bracket. I think it's one to watch this year. Absolutely. I mean, like you say, by default, I've been doing it the longest, so I've kind of become the godfather. And I've always been keen to help other guys get going, give them a hand to get started. And I'm so pleased to see some more four-cylinder bikes in the bracket and, and some very good-looking Harleys from the US now. So I think you're going to see six-second bump spots at most races this year. New Zealand-based rider Athel Williams has made the big commitment to cross the Dutch in his chase for the 2007-2008 Andra Top Bike Championship. Definitely not happy. I'm happy the position we're in, but uh, not happy with our times. Can you put your proverbial finger on what happened in qualifying? Um, really, it's been 12 months since we raced. Uh, we got up to the Winter Nationals and only did two passes up there before we got parked at number two qualifier, so we weren't happy with that. And Australia is going to be the place to race in top fuel bike because uh, the quickest European bike is down here. Jay is down here which holds the Australian title. He's number 12th quickest in the world. Leonard's is the 5th quickest in the world and we'll come and try to keep them honest. Let's take a look at top bike qualifying. Before we do that, our three non-qualifiers. Mark Drew, who's taken out an event win here at Western Sydney in the past. Dennis Grant and multiple and reigning Andrew Champ. Jay Upton is on the trailer and out of the game. Moving to the top eight qualifiers in this opening Andrew Championship drag racing round for top bike in eight is Leonard as a party for as a party earth moving in seven Ronnie Silvestro for Gulf Western Oils Phil Parker in six for ParkerPumps.com.au and Craig Bomwick for LA Cycle snuck into fifth Brett Stevens a little bit off the pace in his Jack Daniels Harley Davidson in four in position three Ian Ashelford the West Aussie for clean power and your top two Troy McLean for Jack Daniels back on song in that Harley Davidson combination and your top qualifier the wild Kiwi Athel Williams for stud welding. Top bike round one action saw Brett Stevens defeat Craig Bonwick on his LA Cycles Harley with another six second pass. Next pairing saw McLean grab a huge advantage off the start line and run away from Rodney Silvestro on the Gulf Western Oils Nitro Harley. West Aussie Ian Ashelford ran an impressive wheel up 672 to down the Parker Pump Yamaha of Victoria's Phil Parker. The last pairing saw a wild run for rookie Leonard Azapati against the stud welding entry of Kiwi Atha Williams. Both had handling problems and got very close together before Williams crossed the centre line first to be disqualified. Top bike here at the AC Delco East Coast Nationals is going off. Leonard has a party. That was a wild round one session. Oh, it certainly was, Dean. I, I thought as we went over the finish line, uh, Athol just scraped past me. And I, next minute I see timing blocks flying in the air. I thought, oh, no, are these things going to hurt or what? And went through them and I thought, I actually looked back, saw Athol's wind light on. I thought, oh, well, it was a good run. And that was, that was great. I really enjoyed myself. And, Athol told me down the end, he goes, no, well, I've hit the timing blocks, mate. I think we've won. Unbelievable how much horsepower this thing's got and uh, how easy it is to turn around. Well, Leaping Leonard, let's hope you will see you down the deep end for a chat and maybe with another round win. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? It's, uh, anything goes in top bike. Uh... 
It's great to see some fresh faces in top your motorcycle. This Andra Championship over there at Western Sydney International Dragway is part of the AC Delco East Coast Nationals. One familiar face in this category, though, Rob Oberg, is the boss, Brett Stevens. Yes, yeah, certainly is. He has been a standout over the last few years, and here's his opportunity once again. We see one of these uh, Harley versus Japanese bike confrontations. As a party had it to half track, but lost a bit of engine fire and a big win to the boss with a 661. But the talk there has to be the performance of Leonard as a party. That bike is a monster. He certainly had the boss covered to half track. I don't think he'll be that disappointed with the loss. He's still got his first six second time card. Come what mate, it's been a great weekend for the As A Party Earth moving team as we move on to the second semi-final. Who's gonna take on the boss, Ian Ashelford? Beautifully turned out machine and the Jack Daniel stable mate, or stable mate should I say, of Troy McLean. This is an awesome matchup. And a red light situation for Ashelford hands the win to McLean with a 682. Bit of a lucky break there. Yeah, certainly get out of jail for uh, McLean, I think, because Ashelford was really on a flyer. And have a look right in the deep end. The drive belt comes away right on the finish line for Ashelford. Coming up, we've got those awesome door slammers. This Andrew Championship drag racing opener. Stick around.